name is Dee Dee Morrison and I am the public artist that was responsible for the design of this piece of artwork called Visualized Biodiversity. It's 10 feet tall and 10 feet in diameter and it's made from core 10 steel that's been laser cut with patterns that are based on the natural habitat of Cholas Creek Parkway. I'm an abstract artist. I work around themes. Typically I work around um, concepts about words and word meanings and um, how to integrate that. Like this sculpture I'm working on for Chillis Creek is called Visualized Biodiversity because it's about habitat restoration and I think that what a powerful message if you can get somebody to visualize biodiversity. So I created the sculpture but the name of the sculpture kind of came simultaneously. Typically how it works as a public artist, I spend, I get the contract and then I spend some time in the community. I do community engagement workshops with um, people that are affiliated with the project. And um, I listen and, and I learn and I ask questions. That's, I'll have done my research before then, but I try not to go with a fixed idea about the direction of the art because I think that relationship is really critical. That I hear and I learn and I um, listen to what I feel like the message it's coming from the community, the stakeholders involved. Public art only works if there's an emotional attachment to the art. It's about site making and place making. And it's supposed to represent the community where the sculpture resides. So for me, it's really important that relationships established and they feel that the art is theirs, not mine. for coming today. Today we're really excited to continue the beautification of Choyas Creek Park. Choyas Creek Park is a place where residents can gather and enjoy the outdoors and today we're enhancing this space even further with new public art. Art brings communities together and it's very important for us as a community to connect through the art. I want to um, stay dedicated to uh, including the history of District 4 in the art and also making sure that our young people understand the importance of what we are doing. My understanding of nature is that if we have a personal connection to it, if we understand it, why it's important in our life, why we value it, why we see the view, we're much more likely to protect it. So, my projects start with children. I think that they're um, just sort of open, clean slates, you know, <laughs> willing to learn, willing to um, be, find the wonder in nature. So to me, visualized biodiversity it says that. It is the opportunity to really become curious again about your natural environment. urban place and we, we see this natural environment but we don't understand it. Oftentimes we don't interact with it in any formal way, let alone informally. So the fact that we have this space here that reminds us of from where we come is incredibly important. It's a huge educational tool for kids. But it's really important for adults just to remind us on a daily basis what this very is special and precious place is. I want to come back tonight and spend the evening there when it lights up. It's a beautiful place.